my family just barges in my house and starts questioning me. I don't do that to them. Don't come in my house and disrespect me like that. The difference between Phil and Jerry was Jerry was deliberately eating things in front of me that would want to tentate me. But Phil did the opposite. I mean, I ain't saying he didn't have stuff that I, I'm not supposed to eat, but I wasn't tempted to eat it. In any relationship, you have to trust that person, whether you meet them going to church or wherever, you still have to take the trust to get to know that person, to find out what they like and what they don't like and this and that. You just got to trust. I just wish they would get to know him a little more than what they see online. But at the end of the day, I don't care really what they think. I'm going to do what makes me happy. Go swimming. Let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. Don't go swimming. Yeah, I know. Gage loves the water, so I'm gonna surprise him and have a pool day with him. We're putting a blanket on so you won't get no rocks on your butt. How about that? And also get Tammy out of the house so she could enjoy seeing Gage for the first time in the water. And Tammy. Go swimming with me. Okay. I haven't really talked to Tammy about the new boyfriend. I have a lot going on, but I'm gonna be nosy and see what the is going on with her and Chris and Misty. How do we manage to match, kind of? I don't know. We all are wearing flowers. Michael's wearing flowers, too. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> a few days ago, Chris and my sister Misty came over and confronted me about my new boyfriend. I know my family wants the best for me, and I know they care, but they also need to know that I am smart enough to not go be with someone like my exes. You got a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Spash it up, Bubby. Gage is eight months old now. He's saying mama and hi, boom. But when you ask him where's mom, he'll look at me and go mum, 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 mum. Look at his he hair. He looks like he's got a chicken leg in his hand. <laughs> Cut those hair. <laughs> Just okay. let him be. Let him be. Watching Gage play is everything. His smile just melts your heart. When you're having a bad day, just watch Gage. Now see, this is memories that last a lifetime. Gage. Gage's very first pool. Gage. Hi. <laughs> no face. <laughs> What's going on? So I heard Chris and Misty came over. Yeah. What the hell they want? We fought, you know. What's new? What was it this about? I feel it. But what did Chris and Missy say? Just they're paying attention to what's going on online and not listening to me. What do you mean online? Like, the rumors are going around about it. Like, he's got a fetish for big women and this and that. What do you like about the guy? Everything. I like the fact that I can call him and talk for hours about nothing, about everything. Phil's different. He didn't jump off talking about sex or anything, anything like that. He told me he wanted to better my life. He told me just he wanted to build a life, build a foundation before we got serious. Are y'all planning on getting married or something? Because I've seen in lots of true happiness and lots of rings and... But yeah, we have discussed marriage, but we ain't, like, set on nothing. Tammy should be 100% focused on herself. Worry about the relationship when you're healthy. 
You can't be in a relationship if you're six feet under. She's thinking with her out of her brain. Right now, I got a lot on my mind, a lot on my plate. I can't handle your drama, so at the end of the day, you're gonna have to make your own choices. Nobody said you had to handle my drama. You can date whoever the hell you want. I'm going to anyway. But if you make a mistake, it's on you, girl. I can't be a mom. I didn't ask you to be my mom. I'm very aware and you're not my mother. Besides, you have no opinion in what I do in my life. I'm around you isn't my mother. Jamie's saying I'm not her mother, but Tisa comes like twice a week and I still have to go get her medicine. I still have to go get her groceries. So yeah, if you do right, I wouldn't have to mother you. I just want to see you at a healthy weight. Okay. Tammy is willing to give anything she's got for a little bit of attention. But she has a way in with Dr. Smith coming up. And this new guy could be a feeder like Jerry. A feeder overfeed you. And then we're back to where we were before. Or worse. Stay the f on my business. So what do you think's going on with Tammy since she's been back? When she first come home, she was all about staying to herself and staying motivated to lose weight. But now that she's had time to settle in, she's more worried about being with this guy than staying on the diet. I had to have a talk with Tammy about her new boy. And now I recently found out online that he throws parties for big women, you know? So I feel that he has personal agenda to make money off her following. Approaching Tammy about anything is kind of difficult. Mm -hmm. You know, we made a comment about why would you date somebody that said if you got below 300 pounds that they were leaving, that she defended him to the heel. And then she rattled off about Chinese food and all this other stuff that they were eating together while they were in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. So that pretty much tells me she ain't been doing nothing but eating. The worst part about Tammy is she wears her heart on her sleeve. Anybody that seems to give her a little bit of attention, she falls head over heels for. And you try to step in between her and that person, Hell has no fury as a woman in love.